this is a proton magnetometer uh, probe this is called as a proton precision magnetometer this is because it contains a casing in which a hydrocarbon liquid or distilled water containing the protons is used once the current is applied to the protons they align in the direction of the magnetic field and once the power is off they will come back to the earth magnetic field the time taken for the protons to come to their original position is measured as gammas so the movement is called as precision so that is why this is called as a precision magnetometer and it is based on the proton so it is called as proton precision magnetometer this particular probe is the major part of the whole instrument this should be handled very carefully and uh, the components include two or one plastic vessel in which the hydrocarbon liquid or the water is filled inside and this will uh, measure the magnetic uh, intensity the console contains uh, a circuitry which energizes the sensor the sensing liquid uh, will be in a bottle containing a low freezing point and it is wound with a copper coil so when the polarizing current is sent into the instrument it creates a strong magnetic field and this will align all the protons to go into the direction of the magnetic field once the power is off the protons will realign in the direction of the earth magnetic field this movement is recorded as gamma in the instrument when we see the magnetic intensity of the whole world you can take this instrument to anywhere and then tune according to the intensity map so these are the tuning options when you are outside the in india and uh, if you are in india then you have a different set on the top so you will be keeping this off that lower one and the upper one will be on based on the magnetic intensity map of uh, a location so this instrument uh, is the basic uh, proton magnetometer so right now we will be uh, tuning it to the present location and in the display we can see the values of gamma the first two letters indicate the magnetic uh, zone and the three letters in the next display indicates the fluctuation in the intensity and that is called as gamma this value will be plus or minus 1 gamma when you are taking averages and if you want to check the battery you can just press then if the deflection is completely on the red the battery is full and before uh, doing a survey you need to check and this is how a probe will be connected to the rod it can be a 3 feet or uh, 4 feet rod it won't conduct or it won't have any kind of magnetic properties and while doing the survey also you must remove all the magnetic properties the mobile phones watches rings and everything and stay away from the instrument you can uh, do a random survey by moving through a profile or uh, for diurnal variation you can simply plant the rod at one location and take readings at regular intervals so when i press this measure it gives the deflection and then uh, the zone magnetic survey is a method to clarify the geological structures and the features of the rock distribution by detecting the difference in magnetism